Hi, my name is Nicole Shank and my maiden name is Nicole Beagle. I graduated Westchester University in 2012 and I currently work in the NICU at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Today I'm going to be reading Nurses Night Before Christmas, written by David Davis, illustrated by James Rice. Twas late Christmas Eve at Angel Hope General. I was night shift head nurse with no differential. My stockings were hung at the nurse's station there. I'd been working 12 hours and had on my one pair. My children were home asleep in their beds. I had to be here to give holiday meds. I worked the yard to help those way laid. It was hard to keep up with me and one aide. Chart notes were hung on the wall with great care. Our workload was heavy and breaks were rare. When outside the doors, I heard such a din. I called up the guard to see who backed in. I stared out the door, it seemed like a dream, and read the truck's logo, North Pole Rescue Team. A surgical cap topped the driver's old head. The ambulance lights flashed white, green, and red. His face was all rosy from the snowfall outside. The patients fell silent and all stared wide-eyed. They figured that something had commenced to be weird no doctor they knew had a long, thick, white beard. He wore hospital scrubs and a long red lab coat, and an elfin ward clerk jotted down all he spoke. He knew the units, which units to open and which units to close, and his round granny glasses perched low on his nose. Don't worry, nurses, I know what to do. His smile was so bright, it made me grin too. Christmas time patients are just where I'm at. We'll have holiday cheer around this word, ward stat. Up to my station raced eight RN elves. They craved double shifts and begged for two twelves. They showed their credentials and Christmas lab coats, and on top of it all, they each offered to float. They turned all the patients and took vital signs and hung IV drips to ease all our minds. They emptied the bedpans and changed all the sheets, bathed all the patients while we rested our feet. In no time at all, the charts were all done. Out patients were seen and it was time for some fun. I thought for a minute this must be a trick. Now I could see it was Saint Emergency Nick. Nick's holiday bag held toys for the kids. Then he gave gifts to us that just flipped our lids. There were crash carts with cakes and lots of fruit pies, an espresso machine to help open our eyes. He gave all the interns new pens for free and pulled out some course books on humility. I was surprised there were no nurse egos here. With a wink, he explained, for the heart, surgeons, dear. He bought me some shoes for my two aching feet and a stethoscope planted, plated with gold that was neat. Next, he used his gift for the gab to end our long-standing feud with the lab. Just when I thought he'd exhaust the loot, he pulled bonus checks from inside his boot. His eyes, how they twinkled like two small blue blazes. He jawboned the board and gave us all races. Nick brought it in a tree for the rating room crowd. It glowed with such warmth that made us all proud. His visitation was short, he let us all know. He bowed from the waist and turned to go. Nick waved to us all as he jogged out the door. I've 
More consultations and house calls galore. He blinked and then added, good night all my friends, and he smiled and exclaimed, Merry Christmas, PRN. <laughs> Happy holidays.